Hi, I'm Dave Anderson, and I want to explain why the supply curve has this upward slope. The supply curve shows us the relationship between the price and the quantity supply. And then the upward slope tells us that as the firm supplies more, it must receive a higher price. Why is that? Well, it's not just because the firm needs more money for supplying more, because the firm would get more money for supplying more even if the price stayed the same. If they supplied 100 for 10 cents, they'd get $10. If they supplied 150 for 10 cents each, they would get $15. So they're getting more. But in addition to getting more money, they need more for additional units. They need each tomato to get a higher price than they would if they supplied fewer. And that's because each tomato costs more to produce than the one before it. We see increasing additional or marginal cost. And that additional cost of supplying more and more units increases as more units are supplied. It costs more to produce the 150th tomato than it costs to produce the 100th. So how do we explain that? One of the reasons for that is explained in my book, where it talks about the increasing opportunity cost of time. As you make more of something, you have to carve time out of increasingly valuable alternative activities in your day. The first unit might be made in time that you would otherwise spend fiddling in your garden. That's not very valuable to you. The second unit might come out of time when you'd be working out, which is more valuable to you. The third unit might come out of socializing time, and the fourth unit might come out of family time, which is your most valuable time in the day. Because you're giving up more and more valuable time, you have to be paid more and more to take that time for production. But I want to talk about another explanation for why this would increase, and that has to do with other inputs. Suppose that we are making tomatoes, and we have the tomatoes planted in the garden, but they don't have any fertilizer. With no fertilizer, you get no tomatoes. As you add fertilizer, you get more and more tomatoes. The first bag, which costs $10, adds 100 tomatoes to the crop. The marginal cost of those 100 tomatoes, that additional cost, is the change in total cost divided by the change in quantity. So $10 spent on fertilizer gets 100 tomatoes. So the additional cost per tomato is 10 cents. Then you add a second bag. It's not the first enriching fertilizer that finally gets some nutrients to those tomatoes, but it does add 50 tomatoes. So you get another 50. The marginal cost is $10 divided by 50, so 20 cents per tomato. The third bag doesn't contribute as many tomatoes as the first or second, but it does add 10 tomatoes. The additional cost for each of those 10 tomatoes is $10, the cost of the bag, divided by 10 tomatoes, or $1. So those 10 tomatoes cost an additional $1 per unit. That decreasing marginal benefit from adding fertilizer, we call it the diminishing marginal product of that input, leads to an increasing marginal cost. And the marginal cost is the height of the supply curve. So this increase in marginal cost leads to the supply curve sloping upward like this. For similar reasons, you'll see increasing marginal cost as you add more baristas to a cafe or more assembly lines to a factory. And so those industries will have an upward sloping supply curve as well. Ciao.